And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. experience. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get hype. Welcome Cowboys Nation to another episode of the Late Night Hype. Ultra special guest in the building today. I mean, he really needs no introduction, but we're still going to give him one. Three-time Super Bowl champion. A million-time pro bowler. Amazing nah. guy on and off the field. Darren Woodson, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, Woody? Oh, man, I'm enjoying yeah. it, Will. The <laughs> things are good, man. Even through this COVID stuff that's going on, man, yeah. there's, there's been some silver linings, man. So, you know. But it, my heart, it, listen, my heart goes out to those that are suffering, though, man. There's so many people absolutely, uh, around the country that are suffering. And, uh, hey, our prayers are out to you. But uh, at the, and at the same time, um, and I hope everyone gets well. Yes, absolutely. And that's one of the things we get from doing this show here and having people on like you. I mean, you're, you've been the, the, the best guest I think we've had. Uh, but people really reach out to these type of shows during this time. You know, mm-hmm. and they, they yeah. tell us, and I'm sure they probably tell you, hey, man, you, you guys are helping me get through this crazy yeah. period, man. So, yeah, and it's crazy because, you know, as, as hum- just as humans, man, we're used to being around people. That's our thing. I mean, we, you know, I know I am. Yeah. Right, I'm the right. type of dude that I, I could never live on the East Coast because if there wasn't enough sun for me, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm standing by, I'm standing on a gloomy day. I'm standing by the light bulb. The I feel you. I feel you. you. Know, how you I, mean, think I, I need feel? to be, I need the light. I feel you, man. Hey, listen, I'm over here. I'm right next. To, I told you on the phone the other day. I'm right next to Philly. Yeah, man. I'm right in the middle. I'm in Ohio. <laughs> right so you ain't bad, but Philly, good yeah. lord. What, <laughs> dude? I ain't bad, but man, you better come on down here. It's the only reason why it's cool right now because the world is wacky. But trust me, winners out here will smack you in the face. But, <laughs> oh yeah, I can. I can imagine. Man, what do you know? Look at that. Look he at that. He played in. He played against Philly. I don't know how many times. He oh, know how many times. Too hard many times, right? Field. In a good man, way. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the old vet. See, y'all too young That's for the old I, vet. I, 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 no, 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 no
<laughs> no, you yeah. come on. Yeah, take it. Take hey, it. Hey, so hey, Woody, I'm 48. I've seen like all of it. There you go. <laughs> Give me some more of that. Hey, hey, some, Woody. I've we, seen we, it all, Woody. We, we, we've seen you with mystery. the big shoulder pads out there. Big shoulder <laughs> pads. Big shoulder pads. Before we go, before we go, you got to explain. Because, listen, we talked about this on the last episode. We said, man, Woody came up in a different era when them shoulder pads made you look like you ain't have no neck. <laughs> no, no neck. neck. He was getting hit. <laughs> and you know what? who I followed, though, when I was, you know, I was coming up? I was looking at, you know, you always look at the dress code. Mm -hmm. Right. You look at the dress code when you're in college, you start to look at the safety that were playing at that time. And Atwater was the dude. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. So Jeez. I didn't know no better. I was like, okay, well, <laughs> Atwater's about 240. I'm about 225. I'm, a, I'm considered a big safety. Yeah. I'm going to wear the big shoulder pads. And that's how I went. And then <laughs> I'm going to tell you when the swag definitely changed is when Dion came on yes. with the uh -huh. Cowboys. And no the first way. Thing he said to me was like, dog, hey dog, come on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get out some big, <laughs> some big ass shoulder pads. He said you was not a lineman, bro. Right. Right. Oh, he man. probably told you, get out of them things. But man. I'm telling you, yeah. that that's the that's the vision I have though. When I think of the 90s Dallas mm -hmm. defense and the 90s Cowboys, I, I that I think of those shoulder pads, brother. I, when it comes yeah. to the look, mm -hmm. the actual look. But first off, I want to congratulate you on your second retirement. Because right. you were with ESPN, I believe, for what, 14 years? Yeah. After your first yeah, retirement. Um, yeah. and, and you were a staple definitely for Cowboy fans. You called it straight down the middle. And I remember when I was on the phone with you the other day, I said, hey, man, is there anything off limits? You said, what? No. Like, you said, I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to keep it straight. and Because that's how I do. And I'm like, excellent. Perfect. So how is life treating you uh, in your second retirement? Because I know you have other different ventures you're doing right now. Yeah, man. I tell you what, you know. I mean, God's been good, man, uh, and, and and I've been blessed throughout my life to to be able to transition. And a lot of you know, the one thing I have been able to do, which a lot of players haven't, is been able to transition from football to regular life. Mm -hmm. um, and, and and I I got to attribute that to the people I, that I've surrounded myself with. I mean, I, I got that two brothers. One just passed, man. But oh, I'm sorry, that two brothers who were a lot like y'all, man. Like kept it real with me. Uh, I could have the best game ever, and they're gonna remember that one missed tackle. That I <laughs> so, I mean, I, I felt like I've been grounded in the sense of, yeah, I played the game. Uh, it was a part of my life. It didn't define me, uh, and my identity wasn't wrapped into that. I just wanted. I, I just knew I was a regular dude that just played this game on Sunday. And I wanted everybody to know that at the same time. It was, it's just the game, man. Yeah, yeah, everybody's excited about it. And I was excited about it as well, mm. but it didn't make me any better than anybody else. I was just a dude. Mm. So An extraordinary uh, that, that's, that was the joy that I had. And I, and I think that's a, that allowed me to transition, transition into regular life after that. And, and into regular life, you have your podcast that you're doing now. And I highly recommend you guys to go out there and check out the podcast. It's it's entertaining. It's it's you learn some things there, and um, it, I really enjoy it. And one of the things I picked up from the the coaching one you did was called Coachable. Uh, Are you coachable? Is was the title of that podcast, and it was in, it's it's interesting, man. Your podcast goes deeper than just football. Yeah, and, and I picked that up when we were talking. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, but it, but the podcast is is based on interesting stories. It's not centered on sports. So we're interviewing doctors, uh, lawyers. We just interviewed Rich Froning, who's the, uh, the king guy. of CrossFit and wow. is considered the, the fittest man on earth. And, you know, the, yesterday we had a guy on that, uh, a doctor on that talked about ho hormones. So we go across the gamut, man. It's not, you know, sports is not just uh, our interest. And my passion is in the fact that I love to hear interesting stories. Yeah. And Tyler Klutz, who, you, who we spoke about earlier, is a, <laughs> he wow. played seven years in the league, bounced around. Dude, I, I'm telling you, He's there funny. ain't a team that mm. in the NFL and the CFL that, that Tyler Klutz <laughs> didn't play on. <laughs> he played on every team imaginable. Uh, but he played, he went seven years. A guy named Ben Gibbs is my other guy who, who runs Point. And I'm a partner in a, a commercial real estate firm. Tyler and Ben are, are, uh, the bro are a couple of brokers that work with me. And we've all had to make that transition from the sports world into uh, corporate America. And we've had these conversations, man, at lunch, uh, just sitting at our desk. 
talking about, hey man, you know, look, you know, football's over with, but let's talk about the interesting stories. Like you, like we were sitting at a bar uh, mm -hmm. just about people's lives. So today we had Troy Aikman on for, for example, we're mm -hmm. going to be dropping Troy here in the next uh, week. Wow. Or two. Nice. And nice we, inside. We didn't really Love. talk that much about <laughs> football. We just talked about his life, man. And, and mm -hmm. if you know, Troy, people don't know, realize Troy had so many ups and downs in his life. Like oh, wow. there were times where he thought my football career is over with. Wow. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so, you know, he found a way to bounce back. And that, those are the stories we want to tell. We want to tell, talk, talk, talk about the full transparency of when you, when he was down and when he got back up and what it took for him to do that. Right. That's right. the, that's the inspirational part of it. Cause yeah. I mean, we all see the football side of it, but really people gravitate what you just talk about the everyday life because people deal with that more because everybody can't do it in playing pro football. But when you're talking about getting it, falling down and getting up, uh, everybody can deal with that. And when you see a person that's played in the sports field, go down and come back up and inspires you even more in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Yes, indeed. My, my, my mentor once told me, he said, you learn more from your failure than your success. And uh, when you look at it, you, you really say to yourself, man, I learned a lot from my failure. And, and you're right. When I look at sports, what it does collectively speaking, it builds character. So for people that are trying to find an alleyway or a lane to life, sometimes you can gravitate towards sport. You can be good at something and then relate that to everyday life and everyday living. Right. Yeah. yeah, you, so you, told a, you told an interesting story, speaking of stories, about uh, just uh, what coach was it? Lovey, Lovey Smith. When you were talking yeah. about coaching, and I, I found it interesting because of all the coaches to bring up, you brought up Lovey first, um, mm -hmm. and and then that got me thinking. Well, I know he got some interesting stories. He he was coached up by <laughs> Bill Parcells and yeah. and Jimmy Johnson. What was it like to play for two Hall of Famers like that? That totally different kind of style coaches. Totally different. You would think they would both be hard-nosed Bill Belichick type coaches. Now, Parcells, he was more along that line of Belichick because he basically mentored Belichick uh, mm -hmm. coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy was different in the sense of Jimmy was more of a CEO type of coach. He, mm -hmm. he did a great job of, of putting not only his coaching staff together, but drafting. He knew exactly what he was looking for in a draft. And, and those guys were alpha dogs, dudes that loved to play, uh, guys that were basically gym rats who wanted to hang out all day and talk football and compete at the highest level. And he found a way with all the talent that we had, but with all the characters, dude, we had some oh, fools man. on that damn man. Like, I'll tell you what, if we had social media back then, <laughs> we are not lining up to play on Sunday. <laughs> man, <laughs> off the, air, the, off air stories for that one. Exactly. The <laughs> advent of the camera would have definitely, you know, cost us back then. But uh, he, he, uh, he was just, you know, he was brilliant in the sense he knew what buttons to push when he needed to push us. Uh, and again, with all the characters we had in that room, it, it spoke volumes to who he was because he made us play at the highest level. On Sunday, we all came to play at the highest level. And, and the week of practice was brutal, mm -hmm. man. I can tell you this. Under Jimmy, I felt like the games were easy. It felt wow, wow, really? it was like, almost like a calming sensation when we went out to the game. <laughs> Because Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, man, we were banging. We weren't walk, running around with shells on and shorts. Mm -hmm. We were full pads banging on Fridays. And it was it was brutal, man. So, you know, the joy was going out to the playground on Sunday and, and playing those games. That's when that's when the good times happen with Jim. So so it's true, if you guys didn't win, y'all didn't eat, right? <laughs> might as well. You might as well, though. It was gonna be like I, I used to always say. Yeah, the one thing about Jimmy, he was always looking for the positives. If you mm. won, the game could be 10 to 7. He's going to find the, po the positive silver linings in that win, and it's going to be a celebration. Like, a win is a win. Mm. You can count it however you want to count it. But when you lost, it was like a death in the family, man. Wow. It was the <laughs> worst oh feeling walking in there. I remember we playing. You talk. We spoke about Philly earlier. Mm -hmm. Right, right, the death, right. The death area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know this one. <laughs> so I give up a touchdown. It was like a. I'm telling you, man. The ball is in the air. That dude ain't even caught the ball yet. Dude runs a double double move on me. Uh -huh. I bite on it. He goes. You know, he goes up the field. Runs a nine. They throw a ball. 
the ball is in the air, and I'm thinking about Monday. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't even caught the ball yet. And I'm like, damn, Jimmy going to kill my ass <laughs> in this film room on Monday. Mm. So, I mean, that's the, that's the fear you played with when you played but- with the Cowboys in the early 90s. Hey, that's in my opinion. Don't you? That's the fear we like. We like love. that fear. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't been seeing that fear a lot yeah. lately, uh, uh, Woody. No. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey can you confirm this? You may deny it though, but there's a story out there that there was a guy out there with asthma, and Jimmy walked on the field, and the guy was going through his positions right with the asthma. And yep. he said, what's wrong with this guy? You know, and they said, well, he got asthma. He said, well, the asthma field, and I'm, I'm saying it PC, is over there, you know? Yeah, yeah. And he pointed to the parking lot. Yeah, oh, so that's, wow. you know what, wow. man? That, that was before my time, but I heard that story so many times. <laughs> it was embedded. <laughs> yeah, dog, I'm telling you. And, that, and that's how he ruled. He ruled by, it, it was almost, it was fear in a sense. Mm-hmm. But then it was also... A, a mutual respect that he had with the team because his ultimate goal, and he told you when you walked in the door, it's not to just to win games, it's to win championships. Mm-hmm. And and I was on board from the from the from the jump. And now I know you you had a couple coaches in between Jimmy and Bill, and mm-hmm. uh James had a question about one particular guy in Barry Switzer. Go ahead, James. Yeah. Uh yeah, I, w- I wanted to ask this question because some people yeah. gave me some flat because I'll say, man, that that w- Barry Switzer was garbage for it because I was just frustrated when Jimmy's gone. I was like, Barry Switzer was just garbage for Dallas, <laughs> and I want to know when Jimmy left the transition, what was the transition like going to Barry Switzer, and what was kind of like the 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 reign under him because it seemed like when Jimmy left, the beginning of the end did start. And it, you, you saw the, a lot of the undisciplined we heard about. We've yeah. seen the Troy Aikman, uh, the um, truth the, um, about his life. And he was talking about how, hey, when Jimmy's gone, oh, don't worry about it, Barry Switzer. He's cool. I, I, I played under him. He's cool. But it didn't look like it. What was it like under him? Well, I mean, look, first of all, it was not fair. To, it's not fair to Barry Switzer um, mm-hmm. in any way to cut, you know, to bring him. When he, when he came in, man, he was in a, a, a no win situation. We, we had come mm-hmm. off two uh, Super Bowl championships. The entire staff was, was handpicked by Jimmy. Right. Wow. And these guys had this, this coaching staff that Jimmy had had been together since Oklahoma State. I mean, okay. you know, Wanstead, Butch Davis. Yeah, right, right. You know, the, the, the list, I mean, Dave Camp, the list had gone on from guys that went from Oklahoma State. Followed him to Miami and, and then North to the Turner Cowboys. Was West Wing. North Turner, you know. So there's a lot of guys. There was a lot of coaches that were on that staff that mm-hmm. that followed Jimmy. So when Switzer came in, you can imagine the the feeling that we had when Jimmy was let go. Yeah. When, when Jimmy departed, man, a lot of us were pissed, a lot, including myself, because look, I mm-hmm. felt like we could make history. We we had a run. We could make a, a huge run, like four or five championships in a row. I mean, that's that's mm-hmm. the moment we were in with Jimmy. And so there was some spite that, that he was no longer there. And then Barry comes in, he's dealing with a coaching staff that are all Jimmy guys who felt like, well, if Jimmy got fired or Jimmy got let go, then I should be the next guy up. Mm, so he's wow. dealing with that problem. Ooh, okay. And he's dealing with a team that, that uh, again, is, is, is upset about, you know, Jimmy not being there. I think, you know, Jerry, uh, Barry Switch was always behind the eight ball, but this is the thing. The one thing that Jimmy made it easy for was he made it easy for guys like Troy Aikman and Michael Irvin and, and, and Ken Norton, uh, the leaders of that team in the early 90s. He made it easy on them because those guys like Troy didn't have to worry about disciplining other players or convincing wow. other players to watch extra film, mm-hmm. do the little things. Mm-hmm. Jimmy had all that. He just told you, hey, go play ball. If someone gets out of line, I, that's me. I got that. Mm-hmm. You, I just want you to play at the highest level. And that was as a leader on that, on those teams, uh, you had that feeling of, man, I can just go play my game. I don't have to worry about getting everybody else lined up and doing the right thing. Jimmy's got all that. And that's why guys like Mike and Troy and Emmett uh, and the list went on that offensive line. That's why they played at such a high level because they didn't have to worry about Jimmy took care of all that. So when Jimmy left, there was an instant vacuum, Mm, an instant vacuum. First of all, he was a great, he was a great, drafter he could draft mm-hmm. and, and pick with the best of them when you pick a guy like leon let 
in the seventh round <laughs> that, <laughs> right. that, that we had on those football teams. That's telling right. you this man could draft. He knew mm-hmm. he knew what he had to do. He had to do. The draft started to get worse. Mm-hmm. We weren't bringing in those alpha dogs. We were losing guys that were free agents at the mm-hmm. time who were big time players for us, not only on the field, but in the locker room who were the glue of that organization. Mm-hmm. And now we were trying to fill that void and we weren't drafting the right, we were drafting the right players. We were taking chances on things. And uh, eventually, man, the discipline wasn't there. Uh, to know, and that's no offense to what Barry was or, or who Barry was, but it just, it just wasn't the same. And, and that's the reason when you started to see what could have been easily a dynasty. Or five Man, five yes. Oh, Woody. oh, my Woody. gosh. Woody. It just Woody. hurt my soul again right now. Opening <laughs> yeah. Woody, yeah. we opening up old wounds. <laughs> old wounds. And, and just to add some context, just to add some context to this, Barry Switzer went, what, 12 and 4, 94, yeah. 12 and 4, 95. He had a and y'all winning. went 10 and 6 and 6 and 10. Then he got the boot. You got Can the you book. imagine, yeah. so, you know, even in this new era, well, not going to talk about Mike McCarthy, but the era right before that, the Jason Garrett era. What would we do if we would went with 12 and 4, 12 and 4, 10 and 6? <laughs> yeah. We would have been, been crazy with that, yeah. you know. Yes. That's how yes. good that, that team, that 90 team was, man, or still is, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, and that's the thing. I mean, and part of me, guys, t- I'm telling you, man, part of me is like, okay, what? and I've talked to some of the guys that are playing now, the Sean mm-hmm. Lees of the world and the Dax, and, I, and I've been telling them, look, man, don't what we did in the 90s, that's over with. I mean, I'm sorry to say it, dog. <laughs> tell the coach that. Tell I mean, it, look, all we, are, all, all we have or all we are are old dudes that play the game. <laughs> over <laughs> with. I'm but serious, you know dog. What, but you I know feel what happened, you. Though? But you know yeah. what happened? Y'all beat up all of those teams, and they didn't forget about it. No, they didn't. They rub it in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but but what we we did, I just don't want these guys to worry about, you know, have that 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 gorilla in the back of the room saying they did it. Now we got to do it. Just, I mean, this is a different era, man. And I'm I'm praying that this team gets back to winning those winning ways. And I'm hoping, I pray that Dak Prescott is the quarterback. Uh, okay. that happen. We're about to talk about it. Well, yeah, we can go right well, in. We can go right into Dak. Great segue, Mr. Woody. Seg. Yeah, you've been <laughs> <laughs> you've been making rounds uh, lately. I don't know if you saw that for the Pat McAfee show. Yeah. Um. Uh. On your comments on Dak Prescott, which a lot of us we kind of have the same type of feeling about Dak. Right. But for those who didn't see it, or for those who don't know, you know, how are you taking this whole Dak Prescott thing, or how do you feel about Dak Prescott? I know you work close to the actual uh, practice field, so you yeah. get a chance to see him a ton. Yeah, I get a chance, and you know, with COVID, I haven't had a you know, you know our office has been shut down, but our office is uh, at the Cowboys facility at the Star, at the Cowboys headquarters, and mm-hmm. we're on the third floor, and we overlook my commercial real estate firm overlooks the practice field. So I can see the guys, they walk, they come outside, they, they, in years past, you know, they come out and they, they run and train and do all those things. And, you know, I've made the comment before I've, I've seen this guy, I've seen this kid come out there in the morning, get his workout in and go out and throw, go back inside. And I don't know what he's doing, but he'll come back out and he'll throw to the, the fourth, fifth receiver, the special teams guy. He'll just throw. Mm-hmm. And it reminds me of a guy that I played with, with the same type of work ethic. And that was Michael Irvin. I mean, mm-hmm. nobody was going to out, outwork Michael Irvin. Mm-hmm. And there were so many times, you know, through my career where I wanted to do that. <laughs> and, I <tested> him, <laughs> and it didn't work out the, the way I wanted it to work out. But he just, you know, there was a relentlessness to Michael Irvin. And I see that in Dak. And I know he's all in. And Love if you it. Talk to everyone in that yeah. locker room; they'll tell you the same thing. Like this, this guy came in his rookie year, and we were calling him a leader. Yeah, in that locker room, and mm-hmm. that's saying something. So, especially when you know who the guy is back then was Tony Romo. Yeah, right. Now this guy steps in, and they're instantly the offensive line is rallying behind him. So, mm. you know, I just think that you know this team, this organization needs to rally behind him. It's time he needs to get paid. Uh, I think there's got to be some give and take through through any con- you know kind of Both negotiations. Ways. There's always some give and take. I still think he needs to get paid the the, the number that 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 was that has been out there. And and I'm not saying go over 40 or Patrick Mahomes numbers or whatnot. Right. But he he's deserving 
uh, of being one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the league, hands down, because that's that's the number right now. And then next year, the number will change. And then Thank after you. that, the number will change all over again. And, you know, I'm not seeing everybody being, you know, upset about Carson Wentz getting signed last year or uh, Jared Goff getting signed. Why are they so concerned about hey, Dak's money? That star. <laughs> you know, that get star. get his money and let's move on. And, they, and, and the Jones yeah. family needs to take care of him. That star. You heard it here. Darren Woodson. Okay, echoing the same things we've been saying, and it has nothing to do with, you know how people like to say you have a bias or Dak bias or you're a Dak this and Dak that. Guys, I'm a, I just want to win, and Dak Prescott can do it. And you yeah. see that man more than we see that man up close and personal, and obviously we see the games, but, you know, it's very important. You just talked about it, the work ethic, you know, the want to, the leadership. I think people don't take that into consideration when it comes to Dak Prescott. They want to just put on a film. Okay, put on a film. He's better. <laughs> so yeah, you know, yeah. And, and I think he's under, under Coach McCarthy. I think he'll he'll take his game to the next level as well. But listen, I I guess I'm a little sensitive about the fact of not having a quarterback. I've gone through this. Oh I've yeah. gone through the feeling of okay, I have one of the best <laughs> quarterbacks ever played a game in Troy, Aiken. and then Troy retired and moved on, and we were in purgatory for four years, dog. Wow. And we had quarterbacks that came in who couldn't throw a dump down pass. And we were yeah. getting our I can't I ain't gonna say say it. Oh, we, say no, it. We, we, say it. we were getting yeah. our asses kicked because we couldn't yeah. move the ball offensively. And this went on for like four or five years, man, of my career. And you it didn't matter yeah. what the defense did, didn't matter what the running backs did. It was the quarterback. We were in purgatory. We we just didn't have a guy that can lead us there. And I I not and part of me is feeling like that the Jones know that. They've yeah, been there yeah. before. They went through this experience as well. So why not get this man signed and let's move on? Yeah, because I even heard, like, I think it was a documentary you was on and you were saying in practice and you're talking about the Tony Romo. I think that you was talking about, you know, him throwing the ball or something like that. Was that you? Yeah, that was me. I saw, yeah. you know, we had at the time, uh, was it Quincy Carter, Chad Hutchison, yep. and mm-hmm. – Drew Henson, I think, were the quarterbacks back then. Mm-hmm. Damn, I can't believe I remember those names. <laughs> you spat them out like that. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> uh, but Tony came in, uh, basically was the, the fourth or fifth dude on the, on the depth chart. Mm-hmm. And there was something about how the ball came out of his hands and the swagger that he played with. And this mm-hmm. is coming from a guy who was a free agent, undrafted, and Sean Payton was actually – you know, the, the, the offensive, offensive coordinator, coordinator at that mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. And Peyton was always smiling when he was around Romo. And that he point. saw what Romo could do at practice. And I was cussing Romo out sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, damn, dude, you're playing scout team, but you're holding the ball too damn long. That ain't going to happen in a real game. <laughs> right. You ain't never going to play. You ain't, you ain't never going to play. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. But he was, he was that much better than everybody else. And, and that's when I was thinking, okay, that's when I was thought in my mind, like, I don't care if he's a – if he's off the street, if he's the best one, let's play him. Yeah. And, and yeah. Parcells just wanted to groom him for a couple more. He knew this team wasn't ready for, for Romo. So mm-hmm. he needed to groom him and then get to where he wanted to be. And Romo had a great career. Uh, it was a beautiful thing. Hey, Wood, I want to ask you a quick question. I know we're talking current stuff, but I got some people in, in the feed. My guy, Reddy Red, some, my, my guy, Denley. About the rivalry with the San Francisco 49ers. Like, how intense was that? I mean, that was like the rivalry. I remember I, I was young. You try to, I thank you for the compliment, say I was young, but I seen them Steelers Cowboys <laughs> in the yeah. 70s. That was the rivalry. <laughs> but when them 49ers came into playing them 90s, dog, that was crazy. How intense was that even when especially with the Dion factor yeah, yeah and he was, did he did pi uh michael Irvin. i had no, to say that absolutely <laughs> absolutely look I, I, the, the two teams are so that were evenly matched and yeah. you know you you watch the games as a player you play your game and then the next day you basically back then we were <laughs> we didn't have all the internet and all that stuff in the early 90s right. so we were like reading the paper back there. I don't know if y'all know anything about yeah. that. Yeah, oh, you know, USA you know, Today, you know, we were, I know all about know, that, opening well, that joker. Yeah, Will, I know you don't. Will don't, don't know, know. Will don't know all, nothing about it. All I did was deliver the papers, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so we used to read the paper, man, on Monday morning, and I used to be, you know, sit there and go, okay, you know, I know what we did, what did they do? And it was vice versa. You talk to the guys like the Merton Hanks and uh, 
mm -hmm. uh, Tim McDonald's and 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 the, you know Steve Youngs, they would say the same thing. They were they were concerned about what we were doing mm. on the other side because they, we knew the matchup athletically and talent wise was was that close. And so the key was how do you get home field advantage? Mm. How do you get home field advantage? And I used to watch them and go, damn, they play in the worst division in all the football. <laughs> they they used to whoop everybody's ass in their division. I mean, they right. would, they wouldn't lose a game in the division, right. but but on our end, all right, you got the Giants, you got the Red, Giants who had won the Super Bowl a couple years three, the Redskins who had won the Super Bowl a couple years ago, and the Eagles were stacked uh, <laughs> as a football team. So we, it was like, you know, for us, Jimmy used to always say, hey, man, don't worry about all the outside noise from the other conference or from the other divisions. You got to be the beast in the East. Mm. You take care mm. of the East, you're going to have a shot to win this thing. So, you know, it was it was something that you'd always watch on the opposite side to see what they were doing in the in the NFC West, but you knew, man, that every week in the East it was going to be a knockdown, drag out fight, and you had to get through it to to find a way to get home field advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. We, nice. We can't we can't go without talking about the triplets, right? We can't yeah, go man. away without talking about them, and we know we just saw the last dance. And everyone's talking about, man, what if there was a last dance for the 90s Cowboys? You talked about it earlier. You talked about if it was a social media, probably wouldn't be able to line up on the field on Sundays. <laughs> right. But can you give us a little insight on what it was like playing with not just Mike and, and Troy and Emmett individually, but playing with them as the triplets because they, they were kind of a package deal in the 90s. Yeah, you mm -hmm. yeah, know, and the thing about it, and we spoke to Troy today, Troy made this comment. He said, you know, all of us knew that, you know, he said, I didn't win until, you know, Michael, but Michael was the first one in. Michael didn't win uh, until Troy came in, but Troy didn't actually win when he so came Emmett. in. He was losing. Then Emmett yeah. came in and they still hadn't really won. I think they went <laughs> seven to nine in Emmett's first season. So when they really turned this thing around, it was with all three of them were playing at their highest level. And that's when the winning record started to start to shine so he knew he said look i we needed all three of us needed each other to mm. win this and not only that but you know he talked about the offensive line and how dominant they were and how you know how involved they were so look man i i, I firmly believe and we talk about the triplets now we always try to compare in every even today's game we're always comparing okay the triplets on the dallas cowboys every <laughs> year is a different triplet. every year yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, and and on other teams as well though you know yeah. who are the triplets but man, I, I can say this about those three michael Irvin was probably one of the most competitive men that i've ever been around and he loved competition whether it be <laughs> in practice uh, playing dominoes, you name it. And Emmett was not far off in, in the same way as far as the competitive spirit, the will and the want to to win. And Troy was the dude who brought his lunch pail to work every day, man. Mm. I mean, he was the most consistent person I've ever been around as far as an athlete. You weren't. You knew where he was going to be. If you were out thinking about Robin Troy Aikman, you know what? Absolutely, where he was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he did the same thing every day, every every damn day. So, <laughs> and when your when your best players are your hardest workers, mm -hmm. that's when you got something. Yeah. Exactly. And, and those exactly. three man, they set the bar, and we all had to follow, on, especially on that offensive side of the ball. Now, defensively, we had our own monsters over there, man. You had the, yeah, the, the the Charles Haley's and. Tony Tolbert, Tolbert doesn't get enough credit. Man, he doesn't get uh, enough so credit. Ken Norton, when he when I first Norton got to the league, Norton was nasty. Norton was a dog, man. Ru I Russell Maryland. When we let him go Ru when he was Russell. able to move on to San Francisco. I know man, you was just, mad about that oh, one. I was upset. That I know I was mad when they said, and then he went to San Francisco, Woody. Yes. I said, oh hell yeah, no, no we was, in trouble. <laughs> I said we in trouble now because <laughs> yeah. that, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, but there were so many good players. You know, James Washington, another we used to call yes. him drive by back in the day, and then <laughs> Dion comes by back and it comes through in '95. Man, we just this the, the organization or the team early in those 90s, man, again, great players that wanted to work and had the will and the want to, to win. 
Well, well, let me ask you this, Woody. Uh, for this 2020 team, uh, big emphasis been on turnovers, takeaways, being aggressive, not playing it safe to the vest anymore. We lost number 31, Byron Jones. He's going to the Miami land. So we got a, a, a group of new guys out there in a refresh and a rejuvenated front four. Can you explain to some of the people how beneficial this would be for this particular defense to have a, I guess, a better front four and some new guys with different philosophies out there? Yeah, you know, look, I, I, I watched the draft and, and you know, I, I rem before the draft, McCoy got signed. Yeah. And I thought, okay, well, that's different because mm -hmm. what we've seen within this organization is that they, they, they've been running a 43 uh, defense. Mm -hmm. uh, and they really haven't, I mean, outside of Demarcus Lawrence, you haven't really seen a guy that's like the, a dog like up front, you know what I mean? I mean, right, yeah, right, yeah. Guys, mm, guys yeah. that can play yeah. here, but they're normally undersized guys. Yep. They might be dogs, but they're undersized. They they've gotten bigger up front. Mm. This is not the same philosophy that they've had defensively, especially up front where they were quick guys that got up the field that were disruptive, that worn sap look. No, no, no. These dudes are big mm. now and, and they're going up to 300 and, and above. So that, that's different. So that means that they're focused on, we got to stop the run. We got to win the line of scrimmage. That's one. Mm -hmm. the, the the guy that, who I feel makes the defense go mm -hmm. is DeMarcus Listen. Lawrence. Okay. Yeah, Marcus say it loud because so many loud people, the people, so many people yeah. hate on him, Woody. So oh, many no, people I mean, say hey, look, yeah. but, And he had an off season. Let's call it what it was. He didn't have a good season last year. <laughs> I, I, I'm telling that. Maybe I wouldn't say it to his face. I do. <laughs> <laughs> But he had <laughs> he had an off season last year. Now the expectation, because what I've seen in him in the past is that oh he's gonna pick it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's gonna pick it up. So and I know in the locker room he said that he's he's he made mention that yeah that season that's over with. I'm coming back next year. He's the guy that makes it go. And if he can put pressure uh, on his side, and if Alden Smith comes in, and I'm not sure who Alden Smith is yet. I mean, there's a right. whole lot of you know maybes. We just don't know who Alder Smith is, but Alder Smith is like half the dude that he was at one point. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Man. Hey, now Woody. you got pressure. I, hey, and, hey, Woody. Yes. I didn't mean to cut you off, but uh, my guy is training Alden Smith right now, and he's saying he looked like a Greek god. He's saying he just like an old battleship that just been sitting for a while, and you just got to crank him up. He's saying he's looking every bit of what he used to be. Mm. All right, but hey, <laughs> it's a five, he said, okay. five years. <laughs> hey. Okay, yeah. now. <laughs> is it? And we we speaking positivity in the air, Woody. It's that's all. No, we, yeah. no, we keeping it real. Uh, keeping it real. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. keep it real. We're keep it real. We're gonna keep it real. Honestly, real. no, seriously, because give us give yeah. us a player's perspective on sitting out that long. I know you ain't set out and came back, but good. That long. Well, that's a long time. Five, five man. years, Ooh. man. That is a long time. And 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 y'all know this. Father Time ain't ever lost. Like, no, he had to see the name. Zero. <laughs> what, 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 what Tom Brady is like, uh, what's that again? Yeah, now nah, you got one there. You got, you got one. We're going to find out about Tom, too, this year. We're going to find out about Tom. Yeah, 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 we sure. really will. Yeah, yeah, true uh, that. But, look, at that position, and it's such a, a physical position at the defensive end position. Look, I, I've watched a guy like Charles Haley play so many years man and it's brutal man it, it, it is brutal guys are trying to take your knees out and yeah. do all those little things so you know to be outside of the game you can't tell me his athleticism is going to be the same i hope it is mm -hmm. right. but i'm i got reservations i got to see that. that he's going to be mm -hmm. that's why i'm saying look i'm not expecting that the real alden smith i'm expecting maybe 50 to 60 percent of what he was back then but Give me that, man. Yeah. Just give me that. Give me a guy why on you, the opposite side that, like, that quick, yeah. hey, get, you know, get your numbers last year. But yeah. we need numbers from that guy on the, on the opposite side. Guys, I so got what it. do you feel about Randy Gregory? And, I, that's uh, another one, yeah, man. Yeah. That you just, uh, you know, Randy didn't play last year. And there's yeah. so many question marks. Like, listen, super talented. Mm -hmm. Super talented. But, you know, the key in the NFL is this. Are you available? Mm -hmm. Can you be available? Availability means more than talent. Are you available? Because availability means you're going to be consistent. You're going to play out there every week. You're going to be consistent. We know who you are. We know what you're going to you. give us. But if you're never available, and it's not through due to injury, it's through, it's, it's self-inflicted. 
Mm. You know, these are self-inflicted situations. So it's hard to, to really justify is Alden going to be there for 16 games? Is Randy Gregory going to be there for 16 games? I'm hoping, Mm -hmm. but there's a whole lot of, you know, question marks around that. So let me ask you this though. (laughs) You know, I got to say this uh, because a lot of people have been clamoring about it. We, what, what happened to that void since you've been gone as yes, it relates to the safety safe. play, you know, uh, we, we've been trying to look for that situation. Roy Williams stepped in for a cup yeah. of coffee. He was that guy, but then the, I guess the NFL kind of caught up with him when they had the Palomamus of the world, however you say that man's name, and uh, <laughs> Ed Reed kind of like yeah. pushed him way to the back. So can you fill in the nation on that? What happened with the safety play with the Dallas Cowboys? Well, I, I think there's one is you know, the last time they drafted a safety that high was Roy. And, yeah. and, mm-hmm. and look, trust me, Roy, in his first five, six years, though, there, there was nobody like him. A beast. Right. Uh, he was an absolute beast. But if you want someone, if you want a, a safety that's going to give you what you're looking for, you might want to draft him early. You mm-hmm. might want to draft the dude, you know, earlier. That like Minka Fitzpatrick wasn't Minka there? A couple Minka was available last year. We could have traded that well. first one. Yeah, could have yeah, got but that first I mean, there's been safeties that 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 maybe if you want to get better. Look, I, I love I, you know Heath is a good play, was a good player. He was a serviceable player, serviceable Uh-oh. player. But he was a special teams <laughs> player that was playing safety. There you go. If you want a guy? Yeah. Go yeah. draft a guy early that plays the position. Yeah, and. Yeah. And, that, that, and that's the reason why I think they're in purgatory. I don't that's think it's anything to do with me. I mean, people are like, man, you need to come yeah, back. Yeah, they do. <laughs> come on back. I'll be talking <laughs> trash about me if I walk back on that <laughs> I ain't going back. <laughs> I mean, you make a great like, point, though, because right. uh, if you look under the last 10 years, they don't draft defensive backs, not just safety, defensive yeah. backs that high. They've only drafted three defensive backs in the first two rounds three times. That's it in the last 10 years. So I agree. The last man. 10 years? Last 10 years. Yeah. Cheetah Bay Wouzier. I'm sorry, since 2003. 12, so I'm not sure about 10, but I don't think so. It happened in 2010 either. No, Cheetah Bear, Wuzier, so. Byron Jones, and who else am I missing? Oh, Mo Claiborne. The only three Claiborne. defensive backs oh, wow. they've drafted in the first or second round. I yeah, mean, you can't great. expect yeah. to have, you know, great DB play if you're not going to invest in it. And that's something that Mike McCarthy did in Green Bay. They drafted at one point four straight defensive backs in rounds one and two mm-hmm. back-to-back years. Mm-hmm. So he likes to invest, and he brought in this guy, Ha Ha Clinton Dix, what do you think about, you know, a veteran like Haha coming in? I know that's the position you played. Um, yeah. You've obviously saw how I played the last seven years, I believe. You know, you yeah. think that's an upgrade there? We'll see. Look, I, here's my question. Here's the <laughs> he said, we'll Y'all see. He said, like, we'll see. Yeah, you're such a pessimist. <laughs> you're no, such no, a no, pessimist. No, 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 no. We, we, hey, we, we want the truth. Mm, we, we want, want the, the truth. truth. Well, yeah. well, what happened yeah. in Washington? Why did Washington allow him to move on? <laughs> And they try to play that man inside worse. the box. You know, some no, people can, can some people can battle. Look, like, look, Woody. Some people can battle down inside the box. Some we know he don't tackle. Free. You know, you know, he just like to line up side by side and then pull you down. You know, he wasn't. Yeah. He's like that Woody, dude. You know. Yeah, look, I, I'm. I'm. The jury's <laughs> out on my. Look, I know one thing about how yeah. he understands the defense. True. He knows McCarthy, and he understands what they're going to be running defensively. So he's going to have a clear advantage as far as. Uh, understanding that and then teaching up the, the young guys or the guys that are that uh, that aren't familiar with the defense teaching them along the way so you you mm-hmm. always need a guy that way but I'm not looking at haha being a Same guy way. yeah I'm not looking at like five, two three years from now to say okay haha okay. what's the dude you know I think if he's gonna be a serviceable guy and hopefully they can bring someone else on as, as time goes on but Look, you know, the one thing you know what you're going to get, you're going to get consistency with him. You're not, he's not going to get beat on, on some of the dumb things, and he's going to be where he's supposed to be, and he's going to make some plays for you. Well, if you're the GM of the Dallas Cowboys, would you give up next year's first round pick for go ahead, go Jamal? Ahead, I was about to say, yeah. yes, that's <laughs> my guy. Wait a minute, did yeah. you just say, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And look, that was I'll, the next I'm question. What he's, was from the question? he's from Carrollton, Texas. He's, from, he's, he's a Texas boy. Texas boy. Uh, and, and the one thing I like about Jamal is, is that he's a player, man. He's just a football player. I mean, he may not be the fastest dude in the world, uh, may not flash all the time, but there's something about him that just shows you that he's passionate about the game. Like Jamal could have played in the nineties cause he's he had, his passion and understanding 
of what he wants to get accomplished on the football team. It just, it just pops. You turn the film on, it pops. You see him. He's running balls down from behind. He's doing the little things it takes. He's cussing his own players out at times. And that's the type of guy you want because I don't care to have the nicest guy all the time on the football field. I want the dude that's going, sometimes, yeah, you're just going to be an ass. Yeah, You're just going to be an ass, but you're going to show up on Sunday. And I think he, he brings a little bit of that, man. He brings that edge, the edginess to him. And you know, listen, we always take chances on first round. We don't know what we're getting. We get, even the first, second, third round, we don't know what we're getting. You know what you got in Jamal Adams. I've been saying it. He's an all pro. No, come on. Yes. He's yeah. 24. Yes. You is know what you 24? get. Yeah, he's 24, 25. But it's funny yeah. you, you brought up being, yeah, you, you know, not being nice on the field. I just happened to, to come by an old clip of you on Will Kane's show, and they asked you, who was the meanest player you played with? And I had to chuckle because you said it was Eric Williams. Oh, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. and he was like, really? And Because Will thought you were going to say Charles Haley. And so, no. would I, so did I. But tell yeah. them why you said it was Eric Williams. <laughs> Big E, man. We called him Big E, dude. I didn't call him Eric. You called him Big E. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you like Big Debo, like, right. back in the old dog. He, he was – what bike? He was nasty, man. He, I mean, the things that look, before Eric Eric Williams had uh, the car accident, yeah. I mean, right. he had a, a huge car accident, tore his knee, knee, and was was. I mean, yeah, it was man, terrific. But before that time, man, he was the most dominant left tackle in the game, and and it wasn't just dominance; it was he wanted to hurt you. He wanted to bury you. <laughs> and he carried that same attitude in the locker room. So when he came in the locker room, you sort of didn't know what you're, he was always quiet and he had that little voice and you didn't know. I mean, that's how his voice was, man. He had that, you know, he like, dude, sound like Michael Jackson, but he's six, six. <laughs> Are you serious? No <laughs> way. He's six, six. Yeah. He'd beat your ass. I mean, like, <laughs> I saw him hit people, man. Like, oh my God, <laughs> what are you doing? Like, he, wow. he was just that nasty, man. He would bury you on the field. And this is what I can tell you how bad, what, why we call him Big E, Big Nasty, mm -hmm. is because I, I don't even know if I should tell this story. Man, if it's, listen, we, we can save it for off now. air and maybe the How exclusive members, but, yeah. but it's up to you, All right. man. All right, well, well Reggie. PG. Reggie White, we call him the minister, right? Minister right. of defense. Minister of defense. Yeah. And God bless Reggie, man. Reggie was... His, was a great man. I mean, a great, great man. But Reggie was the calmest man you will ever meet. Reggie, mm -hmm. Reggie White would pray for you, bro. Before the game, during the game, after the game. After a sack. <laughs> oh, after a sack, he's going to bless you in the name. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> Reggie was the nicest guy. Reggie and Big E went at it in a game. And it was the first time that I saw Reggie White go outside himself mm. like he was he was so mad he walked during the game he walked from the, from the Packers sideline to our sideline trying to get at Big E mm. trying to get at because Big E just went at him during the game spit on you <laughs> you know try to drive you when you're in the game try to cut you from behind he was just he was just that nasty. So I knew, I was like, yep, you've been stamped as the nastiest dude in the league. <laughs> he did it to the preacher, man. You, you did know. it to the preacher, dog. Facts. Facts, <laughs> that man. big old club on his arm, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Talent. Man, Hall, he'd be a Hall of Famer. Hands down, he's should a Hall be. of Famer. He should yeah. be. Yeah. Now, you, you know yeah. who's an interesting guy? And it's kind of just off the rails. I didn't even have this plan. Um, Nate Newton was on the picture of you guys. There's that, I don't know if you remember that photo of you, Nate. Of Mike, yeah. Troy, and Emmett, and everyone forgets about Nate Newton, but he went to the Pro Bowl six times. You know, yeah, he and, was a player, man. and you know he doesn't get talked about much, but I, I enjoy listening to him on on Dallas Cowboys. He's a funny guy. He's yeah, a funny yeah, guy. a little road grader, man. And Nate <laughs> knew Nate knew what his limitations were, but when you talk about run blocking, oh yeah, he he was gonna bury you when he had to run block, and and uh, just a talented dude. You know, Nate Nate's game was awesome when he was out there on the field he he was one thing but when where Nate really showed his value was not only on the games but like on Mondays you know when during the week mm. like Nate was that dude that kept everything loose everything even in the worst and worst of times it seems like he it. here come the jokes crack a joke they they're <laughs> going the jokes are going and and those are the things that you I mean 
there's so much value in that, man. Right, Just right, to be, right. it, you know, keeping the culture right. I mean, mm-hmm. Nate played a huge role in what we did in the locker room. That's awesome, man. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful thing. Hey, Woody, I want to ask you a quick question. Oh, yeah, get your members ones in there before we yeah, head out want, here. Yeah, I want to get these out. Uh, my, my guy, Floor Perrier, he asked that. Uh, that's a kind of tough one. Um, he asked that, you know, when they got the 55-man squad now, 53. He asked, like, would it be the last kind of three you think would be edging out, be the close ones to making the team if you had a, a thought? And wait, 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 wait. He lost me on that yeah. one. You got, you know, the 55-man roster, right? Right. So you got like you know the French players like who would be your last three that you would be like man these three guys are kind of like bubble guys of being on that fifty five man roster, and which veteran Tough one. would be low likely to lose his job this year? Oh, uh, for the Cowboys? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's it's early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's so early right it's now. Early. We just haven't seen anybody. Like I honestly, man. I mean, especially through COVID, we had. I don't. I don't know who's who right now. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's early. It's too early for that question. Man, yeah. and I'll tell you this. You asked me that question during the preseason. I still can't give you a legitimate answer. That's I'm is serious. that right? Right? Is that that's like that's that's just got to play it out. I got to. You got. I got to see him. I got to see them when the bullets are really or actually flying and they're playing against the ones because yeah. we see right. there's so many preseason right. heroes. I've mm-hmm. watched dudes in the preseason and go, Oh God, he's the next coming to Michael Irvin. And right. then the season oh. really starts and you're like, Oh, dude, he fold he- up like a wallet. Yeah. <laughs> Be like this dude. <laughs> Why? Yeah, this dude. <laughs> Why? For and real? you got a new coaching staff too, because yeah. it's kind of hard to tell what they like. We knew what Jason Garrett's staff liked. So you kind of pinpoint. Guys? You know, a player, but it's it's tough. It's tough, and you play with Jason. You know, you yeah. you play with Jason, and he was beloved as a backup quarterback, not so much yeah. as a coach, though. But great right. teammate, right. man. Right. Look, I mean, yeah. everyone says that about him. Yeah. yeah, great teammate, and everybody you talk to. I mean, I talked to Mike Irv the other day, and he was talking about how how much he you know loved Jason. And he, if you heard Irv throughout the entire the last couple of years, and people were were talking about boy. Jason, he was in his he was in the corner. He was. His defense attorney, yeah, uh, Dion, 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 Dion was Dion very well. his defensive. He said, "Y'all need to talk about him when he win." You know, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Listen, I mean, I, and that's because Red, man, Red was Red's yeah. a good dude, man. I mean, and it's hard. Like, yeah, I I know that that you know the wins and losses weren't what we wanted, but you know, as a friend, you always want your friend mm-hmm. to win. To do well, yeah, yeah. it just yeah. didn't. I mean, look, honestly, it just didn't work out. As much as I love Red, it just they. His voice didn't didn't it, sound it out throughout, yeah, throughout that locker room, man. And they and they tuned time, him yeah. out, and it was time. <laughs> and he'll tell you it was time. It was, it was time. time for him yeah. to move on and, and 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 have his own start. Yeah, you got. Yes. I know you're going to have Mike on. You said your show. You got to get. I'm I'm ready for that episode, by the way. But you got to get Mike oh, yeah. and Dion on there. You might not have enough air room to talk for no, that man, one. Right. That would right. be. Nah, it'll be. Oh, no. that would be See, a yoga great. fire. I want to see it though. Yoga I flame. I yoga flame. It, you got to do them separately. <laughs> <laughs> like, there is no way that you're gonna have because you. I mean, I can't do a five hour show. Yeah, That's right. <laughs> because 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 you know where it's gonna go. It's gonna go with that uh, 49ers game. Yep. The PI. Yep. This exactly. is where it's gonna yeah. blow it up. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, I tell you what, like Mike. Mike is a dog. You know Mike. Uh, and again, one of the most competitive players I've ever played with. Uh, best re- wide receiver I've been. I mean, Mike used to school. This is how Mike used to be. Mike would school you in practice, mm-hmm. score a touchdown. He'd slam the ball, talk all kind of trash, blah, blah, blah. But then he'd walk over and walk back to the huddle with you and say, hey, you know why I did, you know, oh, I that's, ran his route. I saw your body leaning this way. Uh, blah, blah. But he would, he would help you because he – and his whole deal was, look, man, you're going to go see Jerry – Next week, I got to make sure that you don't give up them touchdowns, Jerry. So I'm trying to help you. He helped me get, especially early on in my career, he really helped me get better Mm, and spent the time. Now, Dion, totally different dude. (laughs) Dion, probably the best football player, athlete I've ever, he is by far, the Mm. best athlete that I've ever been around. Best hands, feet, speed. He was, God said, hey, man, hands on you. He took some time with him. No, right. took his time, <laughs> and, and he would, you know, he'd be talking trash during the game. Like I'm, 
I'm blessing this fool out there. I'm, I'm, like, mm-hmm. I, and that's how he would talk, man. He would yeah. he talk. I'm laying yeah. hands on this. Like he's pre- preaching <laughs> out there on the field like, and talking trash at the same time. But a tremendous yeah. football player, man. Man, oh, I wish man. you could have those mic'd up when oh. those, oh my gosh, oh. the way they have the technology now, if we could have those mic'd up with your guys back in the day, listen to the trash talking on the field. Oh my God, those will be classics. They would be you would be playing those every single day. Yeah. Hey, hey, Law, you want to shoot your member questions before we get? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got Stellos. He's he's a big uh, supporter of the channel. He said, "What did you say to Rodney Pete when you knocked him out of the game? You were jawing oh, him. You knocked him out. Something like yeah, that." Yeah, yeah. Uh, you no, know, you know, crazy thing is, I, I'd known Rodney for a long time. You know, what surprised me was that I thought Rodney tried me. I'm serious. Mm. <laughs> the the love problem it. was I love when I got to the sideline, they were like, dog, he absolutely tried you. Like uh, you know how your boys are. Yeah. yeah. Boys like, you, 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 do that. Dog. you ain't a dog no more. <laughs> the yeah, quarterback yeah. tried you. <laughs> so but when he, you know, when he came up, I, I didn't think he was gonna put his head down. And and I don't think honestly, and Roddy told told me this later on, he said <laughs> after he woke up. Oh, uh, later. <laughs> you wrong. You wrong. <laughs> I had to say it. I had to. But he did tell me. So I just didn't see, and I don't think he saw me until the last second. He was looking down the field, and then he saw me, and he was right up on me. And of course, you know, it's like a slobbering dog when you see a quarterback out there as a defensive player. You see a quarterback definitely out on back the then. Yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah. You want to make sure that you give him everything you got, and and I, I was able to, you know. You know, his head came down and I, I was into, you know, able to, to to give him a good shot. But, you know, that that that, you know, taking that shot on him, man, that turned the game around basically by the fact that, you know, their number one quarterback was out. Awesome. Wow. Got, wow. got one more from McCoy, man. Koye wants to say, hey, Darren Woodson, do you remember Scott Case laying out the Steelers yeah. in the Super Bowl? And what was <laughs> his favorite hit? On, what was your favorite hit on another player that you can remember? Favorite hit? I was oh, just looking man. at that. That's that that one. I'm one of my favorite, but you laid out. I forget who it was against Seattle in your later years. Yeah, yeah, yeah but man, that was a scary. That was one a scary one. I know that's why I said yeah, it's not a favorite. Yeah, one. because he went in and he had a seizure. Oh, you I didn't know, know what? That. Look, wow. Look, the, the hit itself, I would never take back. That was, hey, I was like, you know, you ever hit, you ever hit a baseball or a golf ball, and it was like it just comes off the club. Like, man, I don't even feel like I swung it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, yeah, they, they, they keep beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Like that's how that hit felt. Like I didn't feel the hit when in that Seattle game. It was like bap bap and you know that it was it. Happens. And I was like, man, that felt good. But then afterward he had a seizure. And that's when I was like, man, that's you know, right. I ain't playing the game for that, dog. Right. That, what know, was your favorite I one? To, I ain't trying to hurt anybody like that. Um, mm. so that one, but I remember Deuce Staley. Oh, and it was we were here in, in Dallas, and it's he the came juice through game. the hole, and you know oh. Deuce Deuce had this little <laughs> wiggle to him, man. And he, right, you know, he, right. he had like stop and go, and and he was murdering us this day, man. So I'm playing mm. deep, <laughs> and I just flew up, man, and I caught Deuce when both his feet were off the ground. He was trying oh. to make he was making a move on somebody else, and then. He hopped, and when he hopped, it was like a <laughs> bat. And yeah. his feet came off the ground, man, and hit his back of his head hit the ground. And I, you know, I had to talk. I was like, <laughs> you, you know what I love about Joe that? Is, I your mother. <laughs> exactly. I love that yeah, his favorite yeah. hit was on an eagle <laughs> player. We love That's the best Eagles thing about it. Is. Eagles coach now, whatever he's doing now. Shout out to him, though. <laughs> Shout out to the hit. Shout out to the hit. Yeah, unbelievable, SG. man. Unbelievable. Hey, Darren, yeah. before we uh, let you get out of here, I want to take too much of your time up here, but this has been awesome, first of all. This has been amazing. Um, I've, I've been loving kicking it with you right here. And uh, let the people know where they can find your podcast. We forgot to tell them about that, where they can actually find right. it. Right. Yeah, um, you can find it on all the social media platforms, man. You can go to you know iTunes and, and, uh, and, and find us there. You can go to YouTube, find us there uh, on the Darren Woodson Show. Uh, we've only been going for two months, man. And again, it's uh, it's not just sports that we're talking about. Uh, we're talking all verticals. And anyone that has an interesting story, 
they'll be on the show and uh, just tune into the Darren Woods show, man. Look, look I want to say this before we go, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, y'all ain't done with me now. <laughs> We're gonna be back on this during the season. There we go. We back there on, we go. Y'all. There we go. We back on, man. That, that's so, what we're y'all. loving I, to hear, baby. Yeah. Man, I appreciate what you guys are doing. Thank you. Uh, keep serving the fans, man. I mean, keep serving. This is what you know. The fans are are just dying to hear people talk about their cowboys and just talk about sports in general, man. It's just it just means so much to me personally. It means so much to be on this show, yeah. man. And uh, you uh, know, that that's an honor to that, hear that. Because that, 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 wow. it yeah, means a ton. That. You don't understand how we feeling. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, D, can I say so right quick, Woody? Yeah. What, what we said, hey, what, what Will said, hey, dog, Darren, Darren Wilson on. Dog, we 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 was in our group tech going, hell, we was going, right. like, nope. They thought I was saying, lying, Woody. He said, April Fools is over, dog. Don't do that no more. <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, he ain't lying, dog. I, he said it. He said it. Uh, hey, you, you oh, just a man. real. We appreciate you, know, you, man. We really dude. appreciate you, so. So much, Woody, man. Uh, remember, I forgot to say, where did where did the Woody name come from? I know you got to go. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You Woody's know what? My, my daddy's name was Woody, man. My, my dad's, uh, you know, Woodson. So they used to call uh-huh. him Woody, Big Woody. And then my brothers. So my name was Darren because my my two other brothers they had the Woody name, mm. especially my brother Todd, and he was a be- he was a good athlete growing up. So they kept, you know, Woody was the, that name for him. But it was. Mm-hmm. Probably in high school, you know, I was Lil Wood, and then got into college. And I, I, I'm serious though. I can be somewhere, and people will say, "Darren, I don't even know who Darren is." Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been going by Woody all my life. That's all I know. It, I believe yeah. it. I believe it. That's I'm saying, wait, my man. my pops is 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 Big Will. And so I've, I've been Lil Will for a long time till I became an adult. And I was like, you know what? Y'all got to chill with the Lil Will now. Lil I'm, I'm grown <laughs> now, man. I'm grown. Right? I can just call me Will. So yeah. <laughs> that, I feel you, that, man. That's funny. I feel you. Man. Wow. So, I guys. Really appreciate you, man. Do you want to uh, take a break here, uh, salute, give our salutes to Woody off air, and then come back on and, and, and hop into the chat here and talk yeah, to the fans? Yeah, we're going to finish fans have been loving this, Woody. So I'm glad yeah, you said we ain't done with you yet, man. I'm glad you said Yes, we loving that. Woo, we loving that because we're going to have a good time Woo. for the season, man. Yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Maybe you'll see us in Dallas. We're already trying to plan. Nah, are y'all coming? Yeah, yeah we're we coming. Well, well, I'm right here in Dallas. We already so. in Dallas. Oh, you in Dallas? Dallas? Yes. Yeah, Law's yeah. in Dallas. Yeah. I'm from Dallas, but I'm. we're going to be, when the games go down, we're going to be down there, too. So we all going to yeah. have to link up, Woody, for sure. Oh, I'm trying absolutely. to get to the Pittsburgh one. Law, where you at? Well, Law, we'll talk well, offline. Yeah, I want to get your address. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My God, Woody. Hey, guys, yes. stick around. Uh, we'll be back. We'll open up the lines probably, and um, we'll we'll talk about this amazing interview here with Darren Woodson, man. Appreciate you, Woody, and, and, no and problem. they appreciate you. Thank All you right, we'll be right back.
Cowboys Nation, y'all ready to come back? If y'all ready to come back, let me get some fire emojis in there. Let me see some fire emojis up in that thing. Yeah, be back. back. Yeah, yeah, Darren Woodson. Man, unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. Y'all ready? Yeah, they man, still we, in here. I, they still I mean, in here, man. Five I mean, you know, I told now. you, we're we trying to get all these 88s. You know, remember we talked about it with uh, Skywalker? <laughs> we was talking about getting the original 88 with the Michael Irvin 88, Dez 88. Let's get all the 88s. Get them all up in here. 88. Bring all it. The Let's we get all up in this thing. Let's get all these 88s up in the late night hype. Anywhere. Hey, yeah. right here. Bring it. Ooh, wait. Hey, listen, yeah, man. Right I'm here. Sky high. Look at all that fire. All sky the fire. High. Look at this. Yo got fire, man. Listen, yo got yo. fire. Again, yo got flame. Y'all know how we do. We can't really get into the chat too much. We can't really uh, thank you guys for the donations while we're talking to the guests all the time. Oh, but thank you. Yes, y'all was you. 1K deep up in here tonight yeah, was for deep. Darren Hell, Woodson. Y'all was thick. We loved it. 1K deep up in here total from across the channels to Facebook. Mm -hmm. Y'all were killing it in here. I was reading it. I was yeah. seeing the donations. Man, we thank you guys for all that. Um, Y'all y'all drop. Y'all let us know how y'all felt about Darren Woodson. Y'all heard him, man. He he wants to come back on. I mean, he's just a really cool dude. Wow. Um, yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, y'all could, could attest for that off air. He's just down to earth chill. Just real chill, and I thought it was awesome. And we will definitely have him back on, and, and hopefully more to come, man. Ooh, but come on, season two, <laughs> we got it. Oh, he he, 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 he want to come during the. He, he want to come during the season. season. Hey, I already told you. <laughs> hey, we already gonna have a party. You already said we kicking it, so we oh, all gonna have to meet goodness. up and go out to eat, and we gonna eat the expensive food. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we oh, eating the expensive oh, oh, food oh, oh, with Woody. Oh, oh, oh. Woody said, yeah, let me know. And I said, yeah, I'm right here in Dallas. Look, look, right look, look, look. He said, here I am. Here look, he said, look, Lucy Law put his own. He said, here I am. Here I am. <laughs> look, me and, look, me and Will said, we don't give a hell. We'll be down there. You damn <laughs> I'll be right down there. Yo, no, you ain't well, saying yo. no more. Say you mm. want to come kick it. Don't forget about you. Shoot, don't forget about yeah. us. We kicking it. What, what is yeah. it? What is we it? family now. What he said? Don't be just saying y'all gonna do it. I said, yeah, don't be what saying. Don't it. you no. be saying it? We family now. <laughs> we say, don't yeah. you be saying it? Yeah, <laughs> boy, we gonna yeah. be down there, man. Hey, so how did y'all enjoy that interview, man? A lot of people, man. a lot of people were uh, in the chat, um, and they were they were absolutely loving what he had to say. You know what? You know what I loved about it is we've been hearing a lot about. Um, the recent Cowboys, right? The recent Cowboys, and he and he touched on that, but it felt good to kind of reach back a little bit and get some some stories from mm -hmm. from that '90s team that we may have not have heard, um, and get some stories about you know Mike and and, and E and and all and, mm -hmm. and Jer or not Jerry but uh, Jimmy and Troy and things like that. That's 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 awesome to hear from a guy who lived it, who experienced it. Um, that was probably one of my favorite parts of the, of right. the interview was listening to Woody. Just go back there and effortlessly just boom, 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 boom. Just he probably has stories for days, but we want to keep his time up. So right. you know, we'll maybe pull some more stories out of him um, on the next time he comes on the show. But what's your favorite part about the interview? Man, you want to go first, James, or I, you want me to go? Uh, let me go first because you be yeah. killing it. I, I I don't know how to <laughs> I don't know how to follow you, man. You're so good with it. So um, I, I'm gonna just say, wow, <clears throat> so much was good. I think. I'm, I'm going to just say there was no particular part that really said yeah. I love. I think just the openness, the mm -hmm. how we felt like family on there. I mean, we felt like we had been known each other forever. I think that's what I loved about it the most that, you know, hey, yo, dog. And I mean, I just felt like we had known each other for a very long time. And I think that's the biggest thing that excited me out about everything because he said too much. And it just he was like an open book, just like we had talked about off air. And mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest thing I love that we came in and it felt like family on the show. Yeah. Yes, man. I mean, I'm talking about confirmation too, uh, the stories that we heard from others. And then when we, we was able to ask him about that, and he said, yeah, it's true. And, and my favorite part of the entire interview was right at the 57 minute or 58 <laughs> minute, you know, when he said, yeah, you know, I'll be back. You know, like like he's the Terminator, Terminator all of a sudden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be, be back, back. <laughs> you know, of course. You know, uh, man, it just, I'm still hyped about it. And and the name goes well with what I feel like, you know, Let's the late night hype. hype. Man. Yeah. Man, y'all just don't know, man. I grew up from Natchez, Trust Mississippi. Me, Nobody, it's really not that many Cowboys fans in Natchez, Mississippi. And for me to try to find football games on Sundays, 
on Mondays and then on occasionally Saturdays. But this was a good feeling, fam. And, yeah. and shout out to my guy Vach. He from uh, Mississippi too, from the same hometown. But well, just just building. to give you guys same same building. I, I don't see him down in the box there. But but I'm just trying to contextualize it. Right, right, right. It's not that many cowboy fans in Mississippi, but. For me to, to to be able to talk to one of the legends, baby, I'm hyped. I'm crunk. I'm ready to hit somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to put some baby. pads on and hit somebody, baby. Absolutely. Um, yeah. we. Uh, I hate to say it, guys. Sorry, we're not going to open the lines up today. I thought we were not gonna tonight. Do it, that, that that's too much. Yeah, not tonight. Y'all. Not tonight. <laughs> not tonight. Yeah. Not tonight. <laughs> but we'll, I got. I'm gonna bring the chat up so you guys can you know obviously see the chat. Uh, but but no no phone lines today. No phone no yeah. phone lines. What about you, James? Oh, uh, I mean, I, like I said, this was just a Tons great time. Donations. I, it's just, donations oh, been going go, nutty today. List too, yeah. uh, not, donations been nutty today. <clears throat> Appreciate everybody. It's been a lot of people, so I can't really get all names, but I've been typing like my, my hands been going nutty, like the donations been going nutty. So I've been appreciating y'all. But I just want to say this, that this is this on like we've been telling y'all, not even bragging nothing, but we've been telling y'all from the very beginning when we created this late night hype, this is the beginning. We wanted to bring this fire and flame on the truth, the realness mm -hmm. to y'all. And you see how the doors open us. And guess what? This is only the beginning, y'all, like we've been telling y'all. Mm -hmm. We've been telling y'all, Muggs Maxwell with the twenty-eight dollar holler for D Woodson. Woo! And I knew some, and I was going to ask somebody for it, but I just about. said it was going to be quiet. So you know when Michael Irvin come, hey, you know what happens. <laughs> Shout out to a couple <laughs> yeah, other Michael um, Irvin. Cowboys yeah. uh, YouTubers in the building. Koye dropped in. Uh, he had what up, a, Koye? A question now and, and yeah. E two Blue man, E two get with me man. What up, E two? Line it up, man. E2 Blue is in the building checking it yeah, out. Yeah, we got to get E2 Blue or all four of us on here because yeah. E2 Blue bring that heat too. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. why I, I, I yeah. told him to hit me up. Yeah, so yeah. Get him on yeah. Yeah, um, sir. E2. And just going through here, I love that $28 donation here, Muggs. $28. I love that $28, Muggs. <laughs> I knew somebody was going to do it. That's how you do it, Muggs. And shout out to everybody else, Floyd. Uh, just so many names. I love all y'all. I appreciate y'all. been typing the hell out of y'all. Yeah. And just I want to say one more thing. I appreciate my dogs. I want to tell you, I appreciate arr, my arr, dogs, arr, Law Nation and Skywalker yeah, Steel. Because once again, I'm going to say it like Smokey says, that's my dogs. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> my dogs. Hey, hey, hey that's there's my another dogs. Dog. There's another dog that's I got I to shout out. Dog. That's dog. That, that's, that's coming into this. Uh, um, just helping out with the late night hype. Oh, and that's my man, the Cowboys Network. Oh, because he, yeah. pushed I mean, he's he's been a hell of a help. Uh, Sosa, there, he right there. Uh, we call him Sosa. What's up, Sosa? Sosa. We call him Sosa. Yeah. You know What's up, Sosa? So shout out to my man. Y'all check Network. out his IG page. How All many people? He got, oh, oh his IG is Woo! ridiculous. Twitter. Sosa, he's Sosa. Uh, Facebook, man, make sure I go mm. check that out, man. Period. And and he, I love what he dropped today because I, I know you know we we ain't talking too much current Cowboy stuff, but. You know, the Dak Prescott thing went out in the media today yeah. uh, with the whole $45 million in the fifth year, and that sent the nation on a frenzy. Oh, you know, what happened? They went crazy when they saw that number. Uh, you, uh, repeat his poor Yeah, repeat that because you, you – he <laughs> said repeat the poor Did I break you, up? <laughs> no, you, you broke, broke up. up. Okay. Yeah. So I love what he – what Sosa is what we call him. What Sosa. he dropped today on his – on all across social media because the, the Dak Prescott contract thing went out to the media today mm -hmm. via 105 through the fan, Chris Sims, mm -hmm. and Mike Fisher with the $45 million in the fifth year, and people just went nutty. And uh, the Cowboys Network dropped a nugget – not even a nugget. He just dropped a truth bomb that relaxed the fifth year most likely uh, that $45 million in 2024 or 2025 is going to be – almost a steal because most of the quarterback contracts at that point in time are probably going to be north of $50 million, close to $60 million. Five years from now, go look five years before or, or ago mm -hmm. when, uh, was it Cam Newton had the biggest contract? Now Cam Newton's <laughs> contract is like 12th. So, <laughs> right. you know, shout out to him for dropping those, those are uh, the truth bombs, man. <clears throat> But but here, here's 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 Zero. my uh my thoughts on this uh, Dak Prescott yeah, the forty five yeah. million dollars uh contract what have you proposal it, it is a good counter proposal so it seems as if though when you go with a high number like that year. you probably meet in the middle uh, fifth but, but year, I, though. I, I, yeah fifth, fifth year, year. You yeah, to, you have to you have to say that because it's not forty five yeah. million yeah, across because, the contract. Yeah, it's yeah. it's the fifth year because the thing is with that fifth year, he's basically saying, in my opinion, from what I read and seen, is that if I'm going to miss out on this TV money and this deal money, then basically yeah. I, you're going to have to jack up that pay 
for me to go ahead and miss that deal because I'm going to miss out on that money. So I want to get paid but, handsomely. But, so yeah, work on, that on out. Is, that, is that correct? But, but but this is my only thing about it. This is a negotiation ploy with Jerry Wayne Jones. You mean Steve somehow? Jones? Jerry Jerry leaked this to, to the reporter and the reporter got it out to everyone. I don't think that Todd France, whatever the name of Dak Prescott agents, oh, you know go out there do. and say, uh, put this 45 out there. No, I think that he tried to sell you into water so we can have this friction amongst the fan base because a lot of people just don't understand math. A lot of people don't understand the numbers, but they look at it and they say, man, 45, man, we ain't talking about the president. We talking about this right here now, you know? That's just how I look at it. Just get the damn thing signed. I mean, yeah, you know, crazy. I mean, we, we, we it's gone long enough. I mean, we're ready to get this thing rolling. You see that, that they were able, they had the article how uh, they were opening the facility days in, in some I mean, form now, and rolling. everything's you not back to normal, may not back, get back to normal for a while, but you see they're starting to put things in place. We need our quarterback, y'all. You feel we, me? We, bring, we, we, we need our quarterback, Jerry. man. We got to bring Jerry Wayne Jones on tonight, on the show. man. We got to bring him on the together. late night hype. <laughs> Get your damn act together. <laughs> yeah, we got to find a way to bring him on the show. Now nah, that be that? We got some Jer Jerry Jones. Oh, can you imagine, bro? Dog. I if want Mason Glory help, bro. Can you imagine? <laughs> man, it'd be 20,000. There would be no YouTube. YouTube would crack. <laughs> it's yeah. We're going to break the internet. Well, why is YouTube ain't working? Because Jerry Jones is on our show, fool. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel if you get Dez on here or no, uh, Mike we're getting on Dez. here. We we getting the we remember we said we claim it, we speaking in the air. Speaking we claiming it. We yeah. speaking into existence. We claiming that. So y'all get ready. We claiming it. We don't know the date and we don't know the time, but we claiming it and you're gonna see. We claiming it. We claiming I'm claiming. Yeah, thou yes. should decree a thing and it shall be established. See, now you, there you go, Law saying it's really yeah. put in the world. <laughs> Shout out to you, Greg, man. Thank you for uh, making the donation yeah. to Hebrew the Nation. Uh, let me just run out some of these guys' names if y'all don't mind, man. No, I'll uh, use you, you, y'all two, and I'll be last. Okay. Uh, shout out to my dog, Joshua Whitlock, man. Really appreciate you, Mike Brown, Robin, uh, Reggie Hart. You know, Reggie Hart. 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 Press, Hart. really appreciate you. I can't say your last name, but your name is Press. Alex Jones, Robbie Radford, really appreciate you. Okoye, <laughs> my bad. Okoye Media, really appreciate <laughs> you. Uh, uh, Termi Lava, really appreciate you. Robin, again, really appreciate everybody for making a donation to help elevate the nation. Really do, man, because with your love and adulations, you are able to see this type of platform existing, man. I appreciate yeah. the donation. Let's go. The sponsors, right. Go ahead, by brother. The way. I can't pull mine up. I, this, okay. I, okay. Well, let me give a shout out to my sponsors who went with the who went nutty with the holla holla for the donation. 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 <laughs> got my dog, Muggs Maxwell, Dan Lee. You know how we do for Floyd Per Yay. You know how we do for it. I appreciate you so much coming through. And as I scroll down, let me give me some more. They're coming through. I don't know because I think they went away because we went to the feed. And, uh, I, so many. So I apologize. I'm trying to go back through the feed, but all my names didn't come up. So I apologize. I can't go through them. It's not allowing me to. But if it if you, yours pull up and my pull up, uh, finish it back here in a second. Uh, there it goes. I got it now. Yeah, I'm, got, I'm so sorry. Too. There you go. I got it now. I'm so sorry. Here come the names. Hold on. Dan Lee, like my said, my dog. Isa Harold. You know, you, I love you, dog. That's why I love somebody who hate on you but still support. John Jones, you know how you do coming up on the rear. Joshua Whitlock came through. We appreciate you, big dog. Uh, Floyd Perrier, I like to say him again because that's how he does. And then I got to give my shout out to uh, Vaughn from Shreveport with the donation on the cash app. Appreciate you, dog. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate all the donations, man. Real rap. And, and y'all just rocking out uh, with us for, for Dan Woodson. Um, <laughs> we got some other things lined up over the next uh, couple of weeks. Yeah, still man. Still some soft, yeah. some soft uh, you know, confirmation. So we'll, mm -hmm. we'll hold back a little bit on that, but um, man, this ain't it. I I know I know Woody is like, mm. right? Like that's it's Woody, you mm -hmm. know. Woody. But still, we still have some very interest interesting guests that are going to be through, um, and we're excited for that, and we're excited to give you guys, you know, coverage of the Cowboys, opinions of the Cowboys that is unique and and different and fun and informative at the same time, also including you guys into uh, in all this so 
We appreciate that, mm-hmm. man. Um, any parting shots here? I know you about ready to yeah, get up out of here in a little bit, man. Um, yeah, on, silver blue, the gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> man, my just about- <laughs> shout out to you, Daniel Meza, man. He dropping twenty eight dollars in the in the super chat. Daniel well, Meza, oh, what, 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 what I'm sorry, the Cash App, you know, oh, the and Lance, app member. Lance Bell, he dropping some money over there, man. Uh, uh, and you guys are continue to do this. Uh, as all is Will Hall, so. All of you guys, thank y'all so much for dropping that dollars and the cash app. Shout out to the mods too. Shout out to yeah, the mods. Shout out to the mods. Yeah, the mods. The mods over here. Holding it down. Uh, yeah. Remember, 30, no 30 percenters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you two? <laughs> 30 percenters. I keep forgetting to put the cash app names up here, man. Say the cash yeah, app. Mine is Chill Will 1026. Uh, mine is uh, 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 Big Game, Big Game James 72, dollar sign Big Game James 72. Yeah. Yeah. So, so law? Say yeah. it. Oh, he, he oh, push oh, his LA oh, yeah. W- oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he, he's been in there 27 times, so we good. <laughs> he, he go, he go, he go. <laughs> Appreciate you, Cash at me. Hey, yeah, he you, know where, you. you guys know where to find me. L A W S Nation. You know, you can pull that up on E F G. Yeah, A B C D E F G. You can pull that up everywhere. You know, you can pull it up on uh, Instagram, Facebook, MySpace, Black Planet, Twitter, Twitch. You can pull it up everywhere. You can find really can. LawNations.net. That's me all day, every day, baby, on fire. Stick and the Roku devices, man. Really appreciate somebody. Lance Bell dropped another $18 in the case. See what I'm shop. saying? That's the worldwide. You're killing yeah, you know, the worldwide. You, know, you can man, always share say, the wealth. I've been real <laughs> quiet tonight. I've been real quiet today <laughs> saying the donation, donation, donation. Hey, you can always get it popping over here before we close off the show. We're going we to be reaching out to all of the former players. Like, Jeez. come on out, man. Come on come out. On. <laughs> no, we are. That's that's definitely going down. But yes, like, but, uh, like uh, Skywalker said, just my quick part and shot just uh keep on getting just keep on tuning in for this late night hype keep on supporting our individual Thank channels you, when we're going live individually talk still bringing you that heat on the cowboys news still keep on supporting and keep on share 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 how are we going to keep on getting this late night hype get out there on twitter get out there on youtube get out there on your facebook get out there and tell everybody about this damn late night hype Turn. every damn tuesday and say it's about it's about to go down because this is only the start, y'all. With yeah. these guests, it's going to be even more fire and breakdowns. We're going, uh, man. Oh, wait, man to, are you uh, ready for this? Shout out to ter- is it Terminova? I can't <laughs> pronounce that. But Terminova. Young Wilson. Terminova. 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 I can't. I he couldn't said, pronounce it either. You he said know, I'm pulling tea, up the brother. Jesse Holly show after this. He missed it, so he's going to run it back. I highly recommend that. You better you know, bring hey, that beat back. That's hey, true. You know what we should do? We you know what we should do. Uh, is it Hype Squad or, or what name did we went with? We ain't go with one yet. We go with one yet. Is it hype nation, hype squad? Somebody, we can't. We Jake can't Farmer. do it on the fly, law. Well, okay, we got to okay. go down and sit this thing out. Yeah, go but, to sit it out. But I do know the power of the nation, though. I do know that everybody that's under the sound of my voice, we y'all can all go and tweet at Daz. Y'all can all go yeah. and tweet at <laughs> Michael Irvin, the playmaker. We already got somebody guys, champion on Twitter. Yeah, he's tw- he's tweeting yeah. Des Bryant for the last five days. KMT72, my peoples. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Keep on going nutty. Can- hey, and, and, and what, what I love about KMT was like day seven. Of the tweet. <laughs> of the tweet. Yeah, he's like, KMT, he's, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> don't stop. <laughs> so get out there and retweet thing. these guys and say, y'all need to get on the late night high with the hair. Holly, that hair. And when it was funny when he was talking about Quincy, I want to say, yeah, we talked to Quincy. I talked to Quincy. And then I, <laughs> <laughs> I had a conversation with Quincy. I wanted to say, but that that's real. And guess what? We might have, I talked to y'all. I, I noticed on the fly. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt y'all. Uh, but I talked to Anthony Wright. I had him on the show, my show last year, <laughs> Anthony Wright. He was a former mm-hmm. quarterback with Quincy Carter and those guys as well. And, you know, it was a big thing because after I had him on the show, you know, he got shot after that. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Know and he, wow. he got shot like three times. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and he made it back. And he has okay. great, keen insight on the game. And I asked him, I said, you want to come back on? He said, hell yeah. So we can make that happen too. And he's got some insight on how to be a quarterback for real. He's a lot better than people like you portray. He was a good quarterback, man, for real. Man, that's good stuff, man. Real good stuff. Hey, man. Uh, the chat is funny. Uh, Vaughn from <laughs> Shreveport. My cash app is Chill Will 
ten twenty six. Chill will one two z- or one. Oh, zero, he got two, you. Six. He just hooked me. Um, I, I appreciate you, Vaughn. Crack it up yeah, at Cowboy Marty, man. Cowboy Marty says, Skywalker got on his Lionel Richie button-up shirt. Y'all better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> he looking like Lionel Richie with that light skin, too. Yeah. <laughs> all hey, night yo, long. Hey, all night. night. They be coming for me. They be coming for me. All night, all night hey. long. Look, look, the other night, I know we going into the Comedy Central, but y'all know how we do towards the end. The other night, right, I said, I ain't feel like putting on my hoodie tonight. It was a little hot man, down Man, where your hoodie at, man? So, I, I, I'm dressed in uniform I know, over I here. know, I know. But but the other night, I had on my little, I had on my other shirt. You know, it kind of it kind of yeah. snug on me a okay. little bit. Okay. They was in there. Hey, Sky, why you got on this medium? You know what I mean? Uh, Sky, <laughs> why, why your shirt so young? I'm like, bro, what? He <laughs> said the shirt was <laughs> young. Hey, damn. <laughs> Similac shirt. <laughs> I just be coming for, brother. Good yeah. Lord, we got a new, we got, a, oh, yes, uh, shout out to for, uh, Fatimus Prime. He's a new Guardian member on the channel. I, you you kind of went on that, the, uh, the the channel membership before the show opened up. Uh, so thank yes. you, man, for joining the channel membership. Appreciate that. All the channel members, we're going to have yes. some behind-the-scenes footage for, for each of y'all on, 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 on our individual channel. So definitely mm-hmm. be on the lookout for that, man. Woody was just as entertaining and cool and down-to-earth off-air as he was on-air. So um, get ready for that. Um, I'm just reading some of these comments, man. Ready, ready, always sticking up for Team Light Skin over here, man. All right, that, <laughs> I, 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 we appreciate Team Light Skin. We Team yeah. Brown Skin over here, though, yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah, chocolate over here. It's we just, chocolate, we chocolate light. thunders. Light we light chocolate boy I'm, wonders over here, yeah, though. I'm, I'm chocolate, man. We chocolate here. boy yeah. wonders. Yeah, wonders. Texas said, uh, Skywalker, <laughs> fresh and clean. Listen, I had to, I had a headband on the other night because I wasn't feeling the lineup. I said, Nah, nope. Mm-mm. <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. I said, Let me put the headband on. But today I said, Woody, oh Woody, let me get. You gotta get the button up. I, I, I see you over there, Jessica. I really appreciate you on the Facebook, man. I forgot to give my Facebook people some yeah. love, man. I know we on our way out, but I gotta give them some love. Some Richard, love. Richie, uh, uh who this is, uh, uh, Toby. Oh, Toby is Toby always, always there. Toby, Toby, is, Toby is, is. I love some Toby. He hold, He runs the flag. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. he <laughs> runs the flag like George T ran the flag. And guess what? Uh-oh. Yeah. Shout out to my Mexican, uh, Robin Lance Salazar. He's a team Mexican up here. Yeah. There you go, Shout team you, Mexican. Brother. I got him. I got Mexican in my family too. <laughs> hey yo, for team is. Pro- I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jimbo the team is pro- and, uh, I- I gotta give to Fatima's pride. That was this is the best one, bro. He says Sky got on that yeah. mushroom shirt that Pops had on in Boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> you got the coordinate. You got, got a coordinate. Damn, it do look like that damn shirt. It, it do. Honey. It do. Hey, oh, shout out man. to Fatima's prime because he came a premium member over here. He beat oh, be, Big you, Game man. James Supreme. So I appreciate Fatima. Yeah, shout out, shout out to you, Floyd, for dropping ten over. Man, boy, they Gambino. They dropped Gambino. Stevie said, "Yo, y'all got, y'all got to show Skylar and Stevie. It's all good, man. We are as long as y'all, y'all donate to the nation. That's cool with me, man. It don't even matter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying this is this is a beautiful. Hey, I, I told good. everybody I got two light bright, so it's all good. Team light bright. Yeah, you better, man. Hey, Marcus, <laughs> I heard a woman over there got you. So what? <laughs> <laughs> so you got to. Wait, man, he, 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 said, man, he was a good guy. Uh, whip. You got to reverse that. <laughs> you got to reverse that. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what we ain't did before bang, we bang, get bang, out of here? Bang, 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 bang. You know what we ain't did before <laughs> we, we get out do? of here? It was what cold we didn't do that night. We ain't said we ain't give everybody a shout out where the hell they been, where the oh, hell location. they from before they location, oh, location. donation, donation. <laughs> for all the nation, donation, 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 hype nation, baby. Where y'all from? I tell you, Von from James Shreve, Black. I forgot donation on type that shit. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Cash Look, app over here, too. Remember, I don't like the, the 30%. Nation. Rios, appreciate oh. you. It's Ricardo, Rio, Rio. Yeah, R- Ricardo said, my man, big game, James, look like Juicy J. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy J. I'll take that when he rich. Yeah, yeah Juicy J. I take this. Yeah. I love some three six. I, I, I like already know. One. I'm glad I got the mic in front of my face. So hey, nobody, listen, I'm about to say, only I got see one. nobody yeah. coming for law. I got. I mean, one we already know what law is. is. We already know what law is. Somebody right. said, somebody can't said, get around. Sky look like Ti son. Like y'all, come on. Man. <laughs> yeah, you, nah, I, you can get that can one too, get, though. Can y'all get law. Wait, wait, this way, this way. Can y'all get this man? I, anyway, I know they're gonna man. get me. No, because I know they're gonna get me. Because I told you some cats already hit me with the Dave Chappelle for a long time. We got Ohio in the building. Texas. Uh, uh, where we have uh, a lot of Texas, a whole, whole lot of Texas, Mexican, Georgia, Georgia, Brooklyn, New York in the building, Brooklyn. 228, Virginia, 276, Houston, BA, Houston. Philly, Cap H-Town. City, Garland, Philly. Texas, Lancaster, Garland, Texas. Texas. 
Tennessee, Austin, Texas. Damn, Texas. Orlando, Florida. Dallas, nah, Oak Cliff, Texas. Oak Cliff in, baby. Oak Cliff. New Jersey. Anaheim. New Jersey. Dirty Jersey. Except where the mall's opening back up. He ain't too happy about that. <laughs> um, Louisiana. <laughs> Kilgore, Texas. Am I saying that right? Arizona. Um, where we at here? Mm. Paris. Paris? We got Paris in the building? Got, is it real Paris? So that's Paris. Is, is the real Paris or is it Paris, Texas? Mm. Uh, might be Paris, Texas. <laughs> yeah, I don't see. I ain't from Texas. I know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, could, because it's two, it's two type of is Lancaster we, we, and it's Lancaster. It's, Lancaster. It's both of them. We got a, we, is, we have a Lancaster. Lancaster. In we got a Lancaster in Ohio. No, they call it Lancaster. We, we got they Oklahoma call it Lancaster City, out here. Las Vegas, <laughs> the UK. What time is it over there? Shout out to the UK. I don't know if shout out to the hey, shout out to the UK Cowboys fans too. Shout out to them over there. And That's the course, brotherhood. Yeah. Of course, we got yeah. Louisiana. Louisiana, Louisiana. and we got Toucan, Arizona. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know about that, James. That was early in the show. They only had like 500 people in here, so the other 500 (laughs) don't know about that. Keep it that way. East okay, Dallas I got all you. day, Midland, Texas. What's good? See, look, as soon as I say that, a couple couple tough ones come up. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. I'm go gonna ahead. I'm going to try. You, you got him. You got no, it. I can't you say got this it. one, man. Texarkana? Te- Texarkana? Is that Texarkana, Texas? <laughs> Did I say that right? Texarkana. Te- Texarkana? Texarkana? Espanola, <laughs> yeah, Texas, New Texas, Mexico. Texas. <laughs> Espanola. I got that one right. North hey, Carolina. Uh, hey, New Mexico. I was born in Alamogorda, baby. Alamogorda, shout Mexico. To, shout out to you. Oh, damn. Is, is it Tuscan? Tucson. T- 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 See, I messed up Tucson. <laughs> Tucson. See, not- <laughs> Tucson. <laughs> Tucson. He's, 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 you he jinxed bring it up, man. God dang it. He oh said my Tucson, goodness. Arizona, South he said Tucan Jersey. Again. I'm going to just go right over that. <laughs> Saginaw, Michigan, just Tennessee. Don't ever say that nope. again, Arizona. Nope, yep, Arizona. Savannah, Georgia, Brownsville, Texas, yeah. D.C. <clears throat> he do look like Little Romeo. A little Romeo. No, 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 Ooh, little yeah. Romeo. That's they say. Oh, uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my dog, the bodyguard, say you look like masterpiece, son. <laughs> <laughs> little Romeo. FB you, County I Jail. Beautiful. What's good with you, man? Oh, hey, you should. Oh, hey, you yeah, should feel good man. about that, Will. No, they, they get the ladies. All that back in the day. All the they get the brothers. ladies, dog. I got wow, I got Romeo. I got smart guy. You know how many times in the hallway he's a smart <laughs> guy. Smart guy. Smart guy. Ah! My ears were bigger. My ears look like this back in the day oh too. God, I, look, God, I, look, I love it. Good I love it. All the light skin jokes. Shout out to you, Young Wilson, man. <laughs> yes, indeed, boy. All the light skin. This All is y'all. freaking beautiful. <laughs> See, look, Josh just said it. He said a grown version of smart guy. Listen, I got that, Josh. I got all that. He I said, I got it. He said, look, look. He said, I got it. Get on, get on. He said, get on Team Darkies over here. Yeah, mm. please. Get on James Harden, fam. He <laughs> <laughs> said, get on, fam. Get on. Uh, <laughs> Let I gotta give y'all the Mike Herb left. <laughs> oh, I can't wait if we if we get the playmaker, man. Ooh, Listen, Lord man. how murdy. I, we Lord how murdy. Y'all just don't know, man. Lord how murdy if we get the yeah. playmaker, dog. Oh, Listen, I'm just going I think I I I, I, I feel it. Mm. I feel it too. I feel I it. See right, it. Man. Man. Some, some, somebody said Rich said someone cooked this man. We we talk about you, law. Cause they get on me. <laughs> All right, listen. Shout out to you, man. Uh, uh, Stelio said the crack on Tucson won't get you no love, big game. <laughs> but see, that's not the cra- see. What he's doing is he cracking on me. I'm not I cracking on two Tucson. I'm crack- cracking on two can. <laughs> My cowboy Marty wants to know since we we in Comedy Central right now. Law, can mm-hmm. you do Jason Garrett? Can you do a new version? He said a new version of Jason Garrett. How you doing, guys? <laughs> Everybody hates. I that. I just hated that we we'll lose by ten points, yeah. and he'll get out there on the press conference, and he, his first words will be, "How you doing, guys?" And I'm yeah. I'm just wish that somebody in the stands or in the in audience the, say, "Not well," you know. The second words was, "Well, we yeah. just didn't execute." Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey. No shit. Somebody got a good <laughs> right. one for you, Law. Smokey said you look like Daryl Reeves. You do. Ooh, with the with the That's beard. A, with that beard yeah, now? With, yeah. with the beard. Let me see. I can I can see that. <laughs> as soon as he said it, I seen all of it. Oh, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah, Texas yeah. Texas yeah. Bread said Law looking like Black Thought. Black Thought. <laughs> <laughs> big game James he don't, like, he don't know nothing about Black Thought. He don't know nothing. Law don't Law don't know nothing about Black Thought. Oh, that's Thought. right. He from the we from the you know yeah. Law from down yeah. south. Yeah, Black South, Thoughts, you should know about Black Thought, but he—I don't think you know about Black. I don't know Black Thought, man. Go, go listen Appreciate to him. He'll—he'll he'll get your he mind right. With it. He cold he with it. it. What? He, Black Thought? What? what? His lips. <laughs> go listen to him, man. 
Wow. Yeah. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Yeah, d- d- yeah. Go pl- go plug him in, Playboy. He's, 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 you you he's, won't he's, take he's him out. I legend. guarantee you won't take him out. He's gonna speak to you. Yes, indeed. This man. dude, John, said y'all need to get Stephen A. Smith. Oh my Lord, Lord. Have mercy. That's when we if we doing that, dog. We syndicated. No. We syndicated. Syndicated. Then. We syndicated. Then y'all. Hey, Listen, man. I, I, <clears> we trying to get Novacek, Moose Johnson. He said Moose yeah. Johnson. We, it wasn't day at a time. But you know, it's been the day. We want some new guys too. Let, let, let's 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 start. Lamb. Let's get some Keyshawn Johnson, man. Let's let's ride out to some. Oh other. Lord. Yeah, let's get keys out there. Then we slide our way up. Keyshawn, you know, keys right. open doors. Keyshawn yeah. don't. He don't hold back. You don't hold back. Yeah, don't he back really don't league. hold back. He really don't hold Man, back. He wasn't holding back in the league, so you know he ain't going. He ain't going to hold back. So that'd be interesting. But yeah, um, he, that, that's that's a that's a I don't know about Mendoza. That I love that name, Mendoza. The Mendoza. I think I'm because I'm watching too much Low Down Dirty Shame. You know, Mendoza was on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all, got y'all remember that movie, Low Down Dirty Shame? Oh, I remember Low, that movie. I definitely that's remember when that I movie. fell in love with Jada. Jada. That, that's when Jada was on that Don't one, right? Don't die dirty, Shane. Mm-hmm. I think that was her first breakthrough. Yeah, and then he said, oh, I see something that has been growing. What are you talking about, Jada? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's when Jada and Pac was on that. Yeah, on that Jada. thing. No, no, it was Jada, Jada and uh, and one of the King, the oh, Wayans. Yeah. Said, that was all the Wayans brothers. All the Wayans brothers. That was uh, Poetic Justice. Re- oh, James yeah. Rowley said, I would love to see Sky just cook Dan Orlowski live. See, James been following me on Twitter and shit and, and sitting watching my shows. I can't stand it. Is that Dan James Rogley? Rogley. Ju- yeah, oh, I, man, I, I, I would I, love to get I F's with him. I would mm. love to get him on here, man. I <laughs> F's with James. Don't know, He's the guardian. Because he is he came on. Dan Orlowski came on and said all this was was for show. The whole the whole Dak versus Wentz thing for top five, him and Foxworth, he admitted that mm. they did they put that together. So all that bull crap, I would love to. I, Dan, come on, please, please. Mm. I was, I think he's a smart guy, but he he admitted that this is just for entertainment. So yeah, you know, yeah. screw the entertainment. Give me the real, fam. Stop, is stop, the, stop eating. You know, Carson Wentz, and, and give me the real. Mm. So I boo, I thing. Is there any more of them ice cream drumsticks? All right, man. We all right, turn man. this really thing into late y'all. night hype. Comedy Central. Um, that was good. Y'all got good jokes. <laughs> that boy good. He good. He good. They are good, man. They, they be roasted in there. Hey, we appreciate y'all once again for being in there today, man. We love Woo! y'all. Y'all was in there deep. Y'all was deep. Hit Cram. One, hit 1K Cram. Hit 1K. So, we um, love y'all. That's indeed, man. We love y'all. Um, we love y'all. Too. Any other part shots on the way out? Y'all know when the music drop. Y'all know nope, what that means. Nope. Yeah. Just that we love y'all and stay tuned Definitely for the next y'all. round. Share it. And then right don't forget to hashtag. Next week now. D late night hype. Hashtag then, late night hype. Yeah. Yeah. And then bug, bug all of those celebrities. Tell them come on. Even <laughs> reach out to LeBron. Get down, James. Reach out to him. Hey, Dan Lee. I already, already, already hollered at Lucky Whitehead. It could be soon. I'm on it. If you haven't yeah. liked it, like it, share it, subscribe it, and tell them what they rocking with, Law. Nothing but the best. Yes, Let's sir. go. about